Hello again YouTube and I'm back with an update video and uh, in this video I show that I've updated my pole mount array one more another time uh, again excuse me and the reason being is the uh, I went ahead and got a top of pole mount uh, the other mount was it worked fine except when I wanted to angle uh, the solar panel and one person angling it, it it was just too much of a hassle so what I did was I just I bought a customized mount uh, online and uh, this is what they sent me. It's, it was good for the price. It's you know welded steel and uh, they sent the frame and everything. I had to modify it a little bit to kind of get it to fit my particular panel the way I wanted it to. But otherwise it's fine and as you can see you know everything is good to go. Um, also this particular array has been you know with my modified mounts and so forth it's been working great uh, even with the winds and uh, so this is this is turning out good and also my uh, AC couple system um, since I put it in place in uh, September I believe well, I, I guess it was September but anyway it started out as uh, you know an AC couple project and uh, it turned out very very well um, as a matter of fact uh, I've seen some serious benefits and I'll tell you in a second Okay, YouTube, I'm back again, and I just wanted to come in and come inside to, uh, you know, so I can uh, speak better. But anyway, um, this is my system. I just, you know, I designed it, and I kind of drew it up just in case somebody wants to come. Like, say, for instance, you know, some official that says, hey, let me look at your system here, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, you know, there's some paperwork here. So, uh, essentially, this is my diagram. Um, you know, basically I'm a systems engineer, so this is no big deal to me. Um, so, you know, essentially I just design, I'm not an electrical engineer and I'm not, you know, I'm not an electrician, um, but I am a systems engineer. So, you know, drawing diagrams, schematics, and, you know, putting systems together is, um, you know, I'm pretty decent at it. So, uh, but anyway, this is my system. If you want, you know, maybe a PDF of it or something like that, or a Visio uh, outline to see how it, how it's wired up and everything, uh, just um, you know, send me a, a comment or a private message, and I can get it to you. But anyway, as I was saying earlier, um, when I since I put this system in place, um, I've noticed some significant gains uh, to the point to where it's uh, it just kind of blows my mind. Um, I went from a DC coupled system to an AC coupled backup system, an AC coupled solar AC coupled system, and I started out with my electric bill around 167, you know, just for the electric portion of it, it was 167 dollars a month, and that's with you know usage fees and and so forth, uh, ex uh, what they call I guess accessibility fees, but it was 167 dollars a month. And then, uh, you know, I went partially AC coupled, and then it went from $167 uh, to $100 a month. And then, you know, after six months or, uh, well, maybe not six months, but um, after, you know, so many months up to November, my last bill was like 80 bucks a month. So my, that's put my bill in, you know, split it in half, but it wasn't the solar that did it alone. It was the fact that you know I have this thing right here, um, my 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 water heater is on a timer, and not only that, but I my you know like 98% of my house is LEDs, and um, not only that, but you know my HVAC unit is on a decent. Um, it's my house is insulated, and my HVAC unit, my you know my air conditioning heater um, is on a decent setting, so it doesn't come on all the time. I also did some research and I found out that my attic fans that I had running thinking that they would actually help me save money on, on you know, uh, heating uh, on, you know, cooling costs was actually causing my AC unit to come on more. Uh, because if you think about it, you know, I did some research, I read this article and I was like, well, let me check this out and come to find out, yes, my AC units, not my AC, but my attic fans were, you know, uh, doing me a disservice. They were actually working against me. And so by working against me, um, meaning, you know, the, the attic fans were, were, you know, they were actually sucking the, the cool air out of my home through the cracks and into the attic and out the roof. And so my AC unit uh, would come on a lot more. 
And so with the attic fans running, it, I had two attic fans actually, with the attic fans running and the AC coming on, that was that didn't spell, you know, uh, good financial good finances for me. So uh, anything good financially for me anyway. But anyway, you know, taking those into account, I cut my electric bill in half. Literally in half. I'm 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 speechless. Um, I've got the documentation to prove it. I'm not gonna put it because I got too much personal information in my on my bill. But anyway, for you folks that are out there that's you know considering this solar panels. I mean, really, with conservation efforts, you really I got you see I have six solar panels or what they call solar modules. And you don't really need a whole bunch of solar power uh, to cut your bill in half. Um, if you practice conservation efforts, meaning, you know, put your water heater on a timer, um, set your heating and air conditioning to a one setting that's comfortable and, you know, insulate your house and it won't come on all the time. Um, you know, if you're using attic fans, reconsider, you know, putting roof vents. I, I put roof vents on my house. And so, as opposed to attic fans, use roof vents. Um, and, you know, that'll, and as far as uh, incandescent lights or even compact uh, fluorescent lights, uh, put in some LEDs um, and you will see the benefit. Um, I, right now, again, my bill, when it came, when it got down to like, you know, 80 and 80 dollars and 70, 70 something bucks, um, folks, I mean, I had to stay, I had to take notice. So, but anyway, this is my system here in a nutshell. I have six solar modules. Each module is connect, or each pair of modules is connected to a, uh, a grid tie inverter charger. Um, they're all wired together. Uh, they all come down here um, to this, this particular, uh, my uh, disconnect relays, which is this thing is this thing here and it comes on down to this you know these disconnect the, the wires from this disconnect relay feeds into this sub panel which is right here um and then from this particular sub panel into the inverter which is right here um now the because the uh, you know all of the switching this is the inter the only time that my grid tie inverters interact with the utility is through this in this grid uh this uh inverter charger this thing right here um, this is the only time that it that it interacts and you know because of the automatic transfer switch when the when the power goes out this thing will automatically switch and disconnect from the utility here and so um, so essentially the power is coming in and, it, and it's synchronizing with my inverter charger and then from here it interacts through this particular circuit breaker which is this thing right here this particular circuit breaker and then feeds into um, you know my main panel through here um, also it all you know this particular um, inverter will actually feed through this sub panel out from the sub panel into a uh, manual transfer switch for hooking up, hooking up a generator and from here it feeds into another manual transfer switch that feeds into the main panel but anyway it's you know it looks complicated and it is complicated I suppose um, but in any, you know, in any case, uh, it, it kind of make it makes sense to me, and it and it does work. Um, I try to ground it as best I can, as best I could. Um, equipment and you know, um, you know, uh, you know, regular grounding. So I mean, it's it works, it works, and it's safe. But anyway, just wanted to kind of bring you guys, uh, you you YouTube folks, uh, up to date uh, on my system here. This is my little drawing. Uh, let me know if you want to, you know. A copy of it or something and I'll post it. All right, take care.